tonight at News 8 Exclusive. The New Haven Department of Public Works employee claims he was the target of blatant racism. And according to the victim, his own co-workers are responsible. News 8's Mario Boone is live in New Haven to explain this. Mario. And it has to do with pictures posted around the office here at DPW headquarters depicting the alleged victim as a gorilla. This is the worst example of racism in the workplace that I have ever seen. Only News 8 uncovered details of a racial discrimination lawsuit filed by Darewood Vereen against his bosses in New Haven's Department of Public Works. I shouldn't have to come to a workplace in a hostile work environment, racial discrimination. His lawyer, John Williams, this needs to stop, laid out some of the stunning claims. And to say that the N-word is used regularly would be an understatement about what's been going on uh, in that department. Calling him a, a silverback or a monkey or a dark boy. Particularly upsetting to Vereen, an 18-year veteran employee, a swastika, and the words Ku Klux Klan scrawled on the Public Works welcome sign. Not to mention images posted around DPW headquarters depicting him as a gorilla and a transsexual. It's very upsetting and very degrading. A city spokesman declined to respond, citing a policy and practice to withhold comment on pending litigation. Vereen says after years of ignored complaints, he decided to sue. The people who are running that department are fully aware of it and they have tolerated it consistently. All right, back live here in front of the headquarters at DPW. Now, no trial date has been set in this case. Count on News 8 to keep an eye on it. Reporting live from New Haven tonight, I'm Mario Boone, News 8.